All right, y'all, hello and welcome to class today. It's Thursday, April 4th, 11 a.m. Central Standard. Thanks for being here. My name is Tara. I'm here to guide you through your next 60 minutes of flow. So as always, take what you need, add what you need, leave behind what doesn't serve. This practice is meant to serve and support you. So just know that everything is optional. You always have the option to come back to your child's pose whenever you need time to reset. So as y'all can see behind me, I have blocks set up for supported fish this morning. So if y'all have blocks handy, maybe set the blocks up in the shape of a T. Michelle N, hello, I see you in the chat, good morning. So if we're looking for a supported fish shape, if we're looking for a heart opener to combat some of the punching and typing and driving that we all do, blocks to the shape of the T. We can also use pillows, we can use a bolster for this shape, or we can roll a blanket or towel to support the spine, give us that little bit of lift. If this is not in your practice today, take a Shavasana shape, a reclined butterfly, a constructive rest, Just whatever shape best supports your practice. Giving ourselves a few moments just to arrive, to acknowledge all the places that were supported, that were held. Giving ourselves time to notice, to check in on any places of tension or tightness or holding in the body. And also acknowledging with gratitude all the places where energy moves freely and with ease. Allowing ourselves to begin to drop out of the thinking mind and to really just be present with the physical body. So moving through these next 60 minutes with embodied movement, Observing any messengers that might be present. Tapping into the messages that our body shares with us. As we move, as we breathe, as we work with the nervous system. We're here for just a few more moments. As you're ready, begin to remove your props. Set the props over to the left or to the right. We'll come on to the back of the body. So let the upper back, the mid back, the low back melt into the mat. Let the knees point up towards the ceiling. Take a moment to windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Eventually, pull the knees into the chest. Let the tops of the hands grasp the tops of the knees. Exhale to pull the knees into the chest. Let the tops of the legs compress the abdomen. Inhale to straighten the arms. A few more just like this. Exhale, knees to chest. Inhale to straighten the arms. Follow your breath, your pace. Taking a few more just like this. back to center. Begin to make circles with the knees clockwise.
and then counterclockwise. Over time, rock left to right, side to side. Acknowledge the places where the back of the body is held by the mat, feeling the pressure and the support of the earth beneath us. As you're ready, let the knees drape to the right, arms to a T, gaze to the left. Come in for your supine twist, let the gaze float over the left shoulder. Come back to center when you're ready. Rock left to right, side to side. And then knees to the left, arms to a T, gaze to the right. Come back to center. Let the soles of the feet meet the mat. So y'all are going to take a little quad stretch. As you're ready, let the right knee drape open to the right like a half butterfly. Walk the right foot behind the left foot. Left hand reaches for the right foot. Right hand reaches for the left knee. Pull the left knee into the chest. You might experience a lot of sensation here. Know that you always have the option to release the grip on the foot. If we're looking for more sensation, let the left knee drape open towards the left. Release when you're ready. Begin to uncross the legs, unwind. We'll take the second side, let the left knee drape open to the left. Thread the left foot behind the right leg. Right hand reaches for the left foot. Left hand reaches for the right knee. Begin to release, unwind. Pull the knees into the chest. Send the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. So pump the calves, point and flex the feet. Make circles with the ankles. Take little steps on the ceiling, kick the legs. Just get everything flowing in the opposite direction. Give some relief to the feet and the ankles. When you're ready, find stillness. Let your toes flex back towards the face. Feel the arch of the foot engage. Feel the hamstrings and the calves engage. Next, exhale, knees to chest. Reach for the big toes or the outer edges of the feet. Find your happy baby. Just take a moment to rock and sway. Take up space here. Maybe straighten one leg and then the other, or rock from side to side. If you have space where you're practicing, maybe you even roll off the mat just a little bit. From here, we'll begin to rock and roll the length of the mat. Come all the way up to our comfortable seat. Let the palms rest on top of the knees. Take a moment to adjust. Notice if there's anything we can do to find more comfort and support in this shape. Seated cat cow, inhale to lift the chin, lift the heart. Exhale to arch the spine, tuck the chin. Take a few more adjusts like this, follow your pace. Come back to your seat. Begin to take circles clockwise. So moving to the right, make small circles with the spine. Over time, begin to take up more space with your circle. 
just a little bit more. Over time, begin to take the widest circle you can take from your seat. Almost an exaggerated movement as you roll forward and back, twerking with the spine. And then eventually find the opposite direction, small circles counterclockwise. A little bit larger. Over time, begin to take up more space. And then finally, taking the largest circumference of circle that we can take. Eventually, we'll come back to our seat. Interlace the hands, flip the grip as you inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, let the fingertips float down on either side of the body. Two more like this, interlace, flip, and reach. Release, let it go. One more just like this. And release. Inhale to sweep the arms up and overhead. Gaze goes up, fingertips touch. Exhale, twist to the right. Let the gaze float over the right shoulder. As you're ready, unwind, reach up. Cactus the arms, lift the chin and the heart. Inhale to reach. Twist to the left, let the gaze flow over the left shoulder. Come back to center. We're going to extend the right leg long. Jump into your shots in the seated tree. So sole of the left foot to the inner right leg. Inhale to sweep the arms overhead. Exhale to rotate, frame the right leg, hinge at the hip, lower down, reaching for the calf, the ankle, or the sole of the foot. Begin to inch our way back to center. Guide the right leg on top of the left. Coming in for our double pigeon or double fire lock. Roll the shoulders up and back. Let the crown of the head grow tall. As you exhale, inch the fingertips forward. We'll inch our way back to center. Guide the right leg up and over to the left. Right hand roots, left arm reaches up and overhead, grow tall. Let the left elbow hook to the outside of the right knee. Gaze floats over the right shoulder, ring out the spine. And counter twist when you're ready. Come back to your seat, uncross the legs, left leg long, John Shrishaps on the second side. So left leg long, sole of the right foot to the inner left. Inhale to reach tall. Rotate, frame the left leg, into the head, reach for the calf, the ankle, or the sole of the foot. Come back for center guide, the left leg on top of the right. Coming in for your fire log shape, roll the shoulders up and back. Inhale to grow tall, expand. Exhale to hinge at the hips, take your fold. We'll inch our way back to center, guide the left leg up and over to the right. Left hand roots, right arm reaches. Right elbow to left knee, come in for your twist. Counter twist. And we'll begin to unwind. Roll forward 
to your tabletop shape. So let the shoulders stack over the hips. No, wrists. Goodness, let the shoulders stack over the wrist, hips over knees. Move through a few rounds of your tabletop cat cow. Inhale to soften the abdomen, lift the chin, lift the heart. Exhale to arch the spine. Take a few more just like this. Your breath, your pace, your movement. Adding in whatever organic movement calls to your practice today. So maybe you rock or sway the hips from side to side, make circles with the spine, dip one shoulder and then the other. Just allow yourself to work into any places where energy feels sticky or stuck. Observe where the body calls for movement. Let it bend something, go widen the knees, mats width distance apart. Sink the hips to the heels, melt the heart to the earth, find your child's pose. Let the forehead rock on the mat from side to side, release any tension in the forehead and the back of the neck. Take a full breath in, breathe into the back side body, feel the back body expand with breath as you exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Two more like this, inhale, expand, take up space with your breath. Exhale, let it go. Last one, inhale to fill up, take up space with the breath, hold at the top. Exhale to release, let it go, and as you exhale, inch the fingertips to the upper right corner of your space. Let the left hand anchor to the top of the right hand, stretch into the left side body. We'll come back to center on an inhale. Exhale to inch to the upper left, right hand anchors to the top of the left, stretch into the right side body. Come back to center, roll forward to your tabletop shape. Extend the right leg long behind you, tuck the right toes, rock and roll on the ball of the right foot. Over time, right heel lifts off the earth, right foot flex, feel the arch of the foot engage. Belly button to spine, find your drishti, your point of focus, extend the left arm long. Hold here, breathe here. On the exhale, left elbow, right knee, arch the spine. Inhale to reach. Exhale to arch. Three more just like this. Two. One. Come back to center. Maybe the left hand reaches back to catch the right foot if that's in your practice today. You can kick the right foot into the left hand. Let the left side of the chest wrap up towards the ceiling. Slow and steady with control. Release it when you're ready. Come back to tabletop shape. Extend the left leg long behind you. Tuck the left toes. Rock and roll on the ball of the left foot. Let the left heel float off the mat. Again, left foot flex. Feel the left leg engage. Belly button to spine, right arm long. Holding here, breathing here. Full breath in. As you exhale, right elbow, left knee, arch the spine. Inhale to reach. Exhale to arch. Three more just like this. Two. One. Maybe right hand reaches back to catch the left foot. Kick the right foot into the yeah, left foot into the right hand. Let the right side of the heart space wrap open towards the ceiling. Unwind with control. Come back to your tabletop shape. Plant the palms, tuck the toes, let the knees hover off the earth for floating table. Again, feel the core ignite, belly button to spine. On the exhale, hips high, downward facing dog. 
Pedal it out, bend and sway, nod the head yes, shake the head no. First down dog is practice, maybe the first down dog of the day. Inhale to roll forward for high plank or tabletop. Lower all the way down, flat to the mat. Untuck the toes, tops of the feet, anchor into the earth, palms come in line with the rib cage. Work into the low back, inhale to lift, maybe fingertips hover. Release, let it go. Two more, inhale to lift, maybe hover. And release. Last one, inhale to lift. And lower. Right arm to a T, left foot up and over to the right. Let the right cheek meet the mat, bring out the spine, compress the right shoulder. Come back to center. Left arm long, sole of the right foot up and over to the left. Let the left cheek move the mat. Begin to unwind when you're ready. Stretch the right leg long to meet the left. Plank the palms, tuck the toes. Push up for a high plank or a tabletop. Downward facing dog. Inhale to reach the right leg up and back. Exhale, step the right foot to the top of your space. Left knee melts. Anjane Asana, low lunge. Arms reach up and overhead. Take a moment to check in. Make sure the knee is stacked over the ankle. And then as you're ready, open twist to the right. Inhale to reach. Cactus. Reach. Sweep the arms straight in the right leg. Rise for Anjane Asana. Open twist to the right. Inhale to reach. Cactus. Reach, straighten the right leg, sweep the arms. One more like this, Anjane Asana. Open to the right. Reach, Anjane Asana. Cactus. Reach, straighten and sweep. Anjane Asana, low lunge. This time, let the fingertips touch down to the earth, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. Left hand roots, right arm sweeps up and open, dragonfly twist. Stay nice and high in the ball of the left foot. Release. Rise for crescent lunge. Again, knee stacks over ankle, nice and high on the tippy toes of the left foot. Open twist to the right. Reverse your crescent, flip the left arm up and open. Come back to center crescent lunge. Exhale to brush the fingertips forward, left knee melts, right leg straightens, half splits. We can reach for the blocks, we can make our stance just a little bit longer. Maybe we take time for movement to point and flex the foot. Over time, finding stillness, take your time to get here. Preparing for supported side plank as you're ready. Bring the bend back to the right knee. Root into the left hand. Send the right leg back. Right arm high. Maybe we sweep the right arm up and overhead. Stretch into the right side body towards the top of the mat. Slowly come back to your tabletop shape. Plant the palms. Tuck the toes. Cover the knees. Downward facing dog, hips high. Inhale to reach left leg up and back. 
Exhale, step the left foot through top of your space. Right knee melts. Anjane Asana, low lunge. Left knee stacks over the ankle. Open twist to the left. Inhale to reach. Cactus. Reach. Sweep the arms straight in the left leg. Rise for Anjane Asana. Open twist to the left. Inhale, Anjane Asana. Cactus. Reach. Straighten the arms, or sweep the arms, straighten the left leg. One more time, rise. Open to the left. Rise. Cactus. Reach. Straighten and sweep. And we'll rise for Anjane Asana. Brush the fingertips forward, tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Right hand roots, left arm reaches, dragonfly twist. Release. Pull the belly button the spine, stay nice and high on the tippy toes of the right foot as we rise for crescent lunge. Open twist to the left. Flip the right palm, reverse your crescent. Come back to center. Brush the fingertips forward. Right knee melts to the earth. Straighten the left leg, half splits. Again, take your time being here. Breathe in here. With your next exhale, bring the bend back to the right, the left knee. Root into the right hand. Step the left leg back for supported side plank, the left arm high. Pull the fingers together, long line of energy down the left arm. Maybe we sweep the left arm towards the top of the mat, stretching into the side body. As you're ready, we'll come back to our tabletop shape. Plant the palms, tuck the toes. Cover the knees. Downward facing dog. And now to reach right leg high. Exhale, step it through top of the mat. Anjane Asana, low lunge, arms reach up. We'll change it up just a little bit. Open twist to the right. Inhale to reach. Cactus. Reach. This time, sweep the arms, melt the torso to the right leg, tuck the left toes. On the inhale, wrist up, press the lunge arms, reach up and overhead. Open twist to the right. Reverse your crescent. We'll come back to press and lunge. Open it up to the left for warrior two. Pull the fingers together, long line of energy across the arms, shoulders stack over the hips. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Two more like this will rise and reverse. Extended side angle. Last one, rise and reverse. Extended side angle. Rise up and open, find your star. Wide-legged fold, let it go. Left hand roots, right arm reaches. Right fingertips, left ankle. Micro-bend in the knees, let the head be heavy. Release, let the right hand root, left arm reaches. Left fingertips, right ankle. Release. Pivot to the back of your space for lizard lunge. Plant the palms on the inside of the left foot. Take a moment to rock and roll on the ball of the right foot. Eventually, let the right knee melt to the earth. 
Maybe we bring the palms or the forearms to the mat or to the blocks. We can leverage open the left knee. If it feels accessible, let the left hand reach back to catch the right foot. Finding stillness for just a few breaths here. We'll begin to unwind when you're ready. Plant the palms. Tap the right toes, lift the right knee. Pivot to the long right side, wide-legged fold. This time, inch the fingertips forward, find an extended down dog. As you're ready, pivot to the top of the mat. And this time, we'll take a side plank. Right foot steps back to the left, shift the weight to the left hand, right arm to the sky. Always an option to bring the left knee down to the earth. Or maybe we lift the right leg. We'll come back to our high plank. Downward facing dog, let it go. Second side, inhale to reach left leg up. Step the left foot through top of the mat. Right knee melts. Anjane Asana on the inhale. Open twist to the left. Inhale to reach. Cactus the arms, lift the chin and the heart. Inhale to reach. Sweep the arms, melt the torso to the left leg. Tuck the right toes. On the inhale, lift up, arms reach up, press and lunge. Open twist to the left. Flip the right palm, reverse your crescent. Come back to crescent lunge. Open it up to the right for warrior two. Again, pull the fingers together, shoulders over hips. Flip the left palm, reverse. Extended side angle. And two more will rise and reverse. Extended side angle. Last one. Rise up and open, find your star. Interlace the hands at the low back, straighten the arms, lift the chin, lift the heart, full breath in. Exhale to hinge at the hips, take your fold with the bind. As you're ready, release the bind. Let the left hand root into the mat. Right arm sweeps up and open. Right fingertips to left ankle. Release when you're ready. Second side, right hand roots, left arm reaches. Left fingertips to right ankle. Release when you're ready. We'll find a lizard lunge to the back of our space. Hit it to the back of the mat. Take a moment to rock on the ball of the left foot. Plant the palms on the inside of the right foot. Over time, left knee melts to the mat. We can leverage open the right knee with the right hand. Maybe we reach back to catch the left foot and the right hand. Eventually, we'll find stillness here for just a few breaths. Begin to unwind, plant the palms. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. Pivot to the long left side. Peace fingers to big toes. Really anchor the peace fingers onto the big toes. Generous bend in the elbows. 
Let the head be heavy. Release the big toes. We'll pivot back to the top of our space. Left toes forward. Right hand roots. Step the left foot back for side plank. Left arm to the sky. We'll come back to high plank when you're ready. Holding here, breathing here. Hips high, downward facing dog. So we'll change it up just a little bit. Similar flow, but we'll add on. Inhale to reach right leg high. Exhale, step the right foot through top of your space. Left knee mounts, Anjane Asana on the inhale, low lunge. Open twist to the right, bring it up. Inhale to reach, cactus, reach. Sweep the arms, melt the torso, tuck the left toes, rise for crescent lunge. Open to the right, reverse your crescent. Preparing for warrior three, come back to crescent lunge. As you exhale, sweep the arms, lift the left leg, left foot flex. Find your drishti, your point of focus, keep the left foot engaged. As you're ready, we'll rise for one leg Tadasana. I'm coming in for eagle pose. We have the option to wrap the right arm under the left for eagle arms. We also have the option to give ourselves a bear hug, reaching for opposite shoulders. Cross left leg over the right. Pull everything in tight. Maybe we sing just a little lower. Unhook, unwind, one leg to Dasana. Bring the right hand to the right hip. Send the left hand back to catch the left foot for dancer's pose. Maybe we stay here just like this, or maybe we begin to kick the left foot into the left hand. Hinge a bit. Maybe the right arm reaches forward. So just like our bird dog earlier, slow and steady with control, release the left foot. Let the toes touch down. Rise up and open for warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Two more will rise and reverse. Extended side angle. One more rise and reverse. Extended side angle. Rise and reverse your triangle. Triangle pose when you're ready. Warrior two. Open for star. Wide legged fold, let it go. Pivot to the back of the mat. Right knee mounts. Left leg straightens, half splits. Next, exhale, bring the bend back to the left knee. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Skandasana to the top of the mat, bend into the right knee, left toes flip up. We pivot to the top of our space. Right foot steps back to meet the left for side plank, right arm high. And come back to your high plank, hold here. Downward facing dog. Next inhale, reach the left leg high. Exhale, step the left foot through. Let the right knee mount. Anjane Asana low lunge as we inhale. Open twist to the left. 
Inhale to reach. Cactus. Reach. Sweep the arms, melt the torso, tuck the right toes, lift up for crescent lunge. Open twist to the left. Flip the right palm, reverse. Come back to crescent lunge. Launch for warrior three, lift the right leg up and back, slow and steady, right foot flex. Next inhale, rise for one leg to the and pull the right knee into the chest. Hold here, breathe here. We'll cross the right leg up and over the left again. Opposite for eagle arm, option for eagle arms. Or option for bear hug. Pull everything in tight, we're compressing the knees, we're compressing the shoulder joints, the elbows. So that when we release all fresh and oxygenated blood and fluid can move through the strong capsules. Slowly begin to unhook, unwind, one leg to asana. Left hand to the hip. Right arm reaches back to catch the right foot. Again, option for dancers, kick, kick, kick into the right hand. Maybe the torso begins to tilt forward, left arm high. If the right hip hikes up, drop the right hip down and meet the left. Slow and steady with control, release the right foot. Right heel melts, arms open up for warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. Two more, rise and reverse. Extended side angle. Last one, reverse. Extended side angle. Rise and reverse your triangle, left arm high. Tick-tock the arms, left fingers to the earth, right arm to the sky. Let the heart space wrap up and open towards the ceiling. Rise for warrior two. Open for star. Goddess pose, heels in, toes out. Take a moment just to adjust. Sink an inch lower. Lift the right heel, hold here. And release. Lift left. And release. Lift right. And lower. Lift left. And lower. One more, lift right and lower, lift left and lower. Bring the hands to the tops of the legs, dip the right shoulder, gaze goes left. Come back to center, dip left, gaze right. Take a few more just like this, follow your breath, your pace. Eventually, we come back to our goddess squat. Rise for star. Wide-legged fold, brush the fingertips forward, let the palms or the forearms melt into the mat. Take a moment to let the head be heavy. From here, we'll pivot to the back of our mat to come back to our half splits shape. Begin to straighten through the right leg. As always, you have the option to explore movement before you find stillness in this shape. Next exhale, bring the bend back to the right knee. Tuck the left toes, lift the left knee. We'll pivot around to the top of the mat. Right hand root step, the left foot back, side plank. Release. Plant the palms. Lower all the way down, flat to the mat. 
will come in for sphinx pose or option for steel. So for sphinx, bring the arms parallel to the left and the right side of the mat. Let the gaze or the drishti be right in front of the face. If we're looking for more sensation or to explore a little bit more in the low back, we can begin to straighten the arms a little bit more, a little bit more. We also always have the option to walk the palms back closer to the body. It all depends on the sensation we're looking for in this shape or how you feel in your low back today, so take your time. If these are the shapes we want to explore, these are beautiful places to be for the next few breaths. If we're looking to move into floor row, reach back for the right foot and the left. We can hold and stay here just like this, or if you're looking to explore a little further, kick the feet into the hands. Begin to lift the torso off the mat. Begin to kick the legs off the mat. You're welcome to hold for as long as you'd like. Maybe you take a round or two or three. Just take time to explore, take time to be curious. When we're done with our sphinx, our seal, our floor bow, eventually we'll all meet in our child's pose. As you come back home to child's pose, come back to your breath. Come back to your intention for practice. Eventually coming in for fire toes, begin to tuck the toes. Maybe we bring the knees just a little closer together. Begin to walk the hands back towards the body. Stretching into the toes, into the arches of the feet. Maybe we come back a little bit more. Take time to observe any messages the body is looking to communicate. Observe how and where you feel sensation in this shape. Is the chitta kriti, the mental fluctuations, begin to chatter? What does it look like to come back to the breath? What does it look like to release any judgment around the sensation or the shape or the pose? We're here for just another few breaths. Come back to your tabletop. Take your time. Untuck the toes. Tap it out. Take it out. And then eventually we'll shift over to one hip or the other, sweep the feet towards the top of our space. Bring the soles of the feet to meet the earth. So we'll explore both again. We did both earlier this week. So as always, you'll have the option to keep the soles of the feet rooted to the mat. You have the option to lift one leg or maybe both. Play with a combination of all three, right? As you're ready, reach the arms high. Interlace the hands, point your fingers towards the sky. So as you exhale, lower halfway down, row to the right. Come back to center, row to the left, and center, right, center, left, center, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two. One more. Lower halfway down. Lift back through center. Lower and lift. We're here for 10, for nine, for eight, for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, Release, lower all the way down, not to the back of the body. Whew. All right, y'all. A little bit more effort before we move towards the ease of our final Shavasana. We'll take a few rounds of dynamic breath. Inhale to inch the heels towards the glutes, fingertips towards the heels. On the inhale, lift the hips, lift the arms. Release the hips, keep the arms. Lift the hips, lower the arms. Release, let it go. Lift the hips, lift the arms. Release the hips. Lift the hips, lower the arms. Release, let it go. Three more, lift the hips, lift the arms. Release the hips. Lift the hips, lower the arms. Release, let it go. Last one, lift the hips, lift the arms. Release the hips. Lift the hips, lower the arms. Release, let it go. One round of traditional bridge, and now to lift the hips high. Option to reach for the sides of the mat. Interlace the hands at the low back or walk the shoulders under the back body. Press into the feet. Let the toes be soft, but feel Padabandha engage. Feel the arch of the foot lift. We're here for just another moment or two. With your next exhale, release, let it go. We'll windshield wiper the knees from side to side. Come back to center. Cross right ankle over left knee. Recline figure four. We can stay here just like this, or maybe we choose to reach for the space behind the left foot. Leverage the right knee open to the right. Release the bind. Arms to a T or a cactus, figure four shape drops to the left, gaze to the right. Take a moment to surrender and let the body be happy to wring everything out. To observe the sensation of breath as it enters and exits through the right side body. back to center and cross the legs. Send the soles of the feet towards the ceiling, legs up the wall. And as you're ready, we'll take second side, bring the soles of the feet back to the earth. Left ankle to right knee. 
Maybe we take the bind, reach for the space behind the right knee. Gently leverage the left knee open. Release the bind, let the right foot come to the earth. Arms to the T or a cactus, figure four to the right, knees to the left. We'll come back to center, unhook, unwind. Take any final shapes you are looking for in your practice. When practice feels complete, we'll meet in our Shavasana shape. So maybe you're looking for a reclined butterfly or happy baby. If you started practice in supported fish, maybe you make your way back to a supported fish shape. Just take whatever is present, check in with your physical body, your intuition, your inner knowing. And then eventually begin to settle into the stillness of your Shavasana. Final surrender, let the body find peace and ease as you're supported by the surface beneath you. Let the arms and the legs and the fingers and toes be heavy. Soften the forehead, create space between the top teeth and the bottom Take these next few minutes to integrate and absorb all the benefits of practice. The next time you hear my voice, I'll be guiding you out of your Shavasana shape. Y'all are welcome to rest in your Shavasana shape for as long as you'd like. 
When you're ready to close practice for today, invite in small movements, wiggling eyebrows, fingers, toes, pointing and flexing the feet, pumping the calves. I'm taking all the time you need to find your way to a comfortable seat. Letting the palms rest on the knees or bringing the hands to the heart. Having gratitude for the time and space you've dedicated to your practice. As always, it is my joy and honor. It is a gift to share this time and space with you all. So thank you for sharing practice today. Until next time, namaste. So y'all, again, my name is Tara. I am here Tuesdays and Thursdays, 11 a.m. Central Standard. If you're looking to flow tomorrow, the beautiful Kiana Ochoa will be here. Same time, same place, same room. So she'll be here to flow with y'all. 11 a.m. Central tomorrow morning. Stephen, thank you. Happy Thursday. Y'all enjoy your day.